justice. Too many people have died in the custody of the state of Maine. Too many people have died in jails. Too many people have died in prisons. We need to treat people and not cage them. The Maine Department of Corrections has reported 15 deaths of incarcerated individuals so far this year. Advocates are calling for better treatment accessibility for those suffering behavioral health and substance abuse concerns prior to the disease escalating into a police matter. We're advocating for a health care response to mental health crises rather than a prison response or a policing response to health care crises. Lawmakers and community activists say it's time to advance community recovery efforts rather than continue placing additional funding into the prison system. That just uh, exposes the fact that there is a massive lack of treatment on the outside of prisons and jails. And that's where the state needs to focus and invest. The fact that people are dying behind bars, incarcerated, just demonstrates that we need the support in the community and not just in prison. The legislature has taken steps to ensure that we have opioid uh, treatment inside, but it's inaccessible for many on the outside. Many of those who spoke out shared their personal stories describing experiencing withdrawals while incarcerated. Andre Hicks calls himself a survivor of the prison system. Hicks says he did not battle drug abuse, but says he experienced inhumane conditions while incarcerated. Hicks explains that once someone enters the jail and prison system, they no longer have a voice. We're asking for every inmate to be scanned upon entry um, learn their medical, um, learn the facts of their medical history, and listen to what they're saying. Maine Department of Corrections Commissioner Randall Liberty released a statement saying in part, quote, those committed to the Department of Corrections are provided wellness services and hospice care, treatment for substance use disorder and mental illness, engage in education and job training opportunities, have access to nutritious and farm fresh foods, and regularly receive health care, in part, quote. In Augusta, A.J. Douglas, ABC 7, Fox 22.